guys today i'm gonna do batman arkham vr review uh i thought this would be a quick review to do it's not a very long game so it'll be short and sweet and to the point this has been out for a few years now so it's definitely not new but uh, i feel fine with vr sometimes it's tough to find you know some fun things to do there's really no real marketing for it you know, it's not like you see trailers all the time for great VR games. It's really hidden and, you know, just on the street, just learning about VR. If you just base it off what you hear from the world, you know, you only really know about Beat Saber, Half-Life Alex, maybe. I mean, Borderlands Beat VR was mentioned, death. Moss, Astro was, was popular here? with time. Why didn't I stop it? There's just not a lot of real talk about it. So, to find out you know, some games go hidden, and one game forensic, that I don't think was necessarily yeah, hidden, I feel like it was kind of known, but not really known, the quality of it was the Batman Arkham VR game. Now, uh, first off, the negatives, I'll go over very quickly. It is extremely short. Uh, it's like an hour, maybe an hour and a half or slow. So it's, it's really not a lot of bang for your buck. Um, but with that being said, it typically is cheap. I think I've seen it for like five, six bucks on sale, maybe max when it's on sale, like 20 bucks, I don't know. Um, now 20 bucks for an hour and a half isn't worth it, but six bucks, you know, the price of a, like, Taco Bell box or whatever, um, for an hour of fun, definitely worth it. This game is really, really fucking cool. Uh, for what you get, man. If they if they literally had this game, you know, stretched out to like eight hours or even six hours, like it'd be a fucking awesome game. It'd be so good. Uh, you know, like example, how they made Iron Man VR that came for ten hours. I wish they did that with this because this will true like it, it's perfect for VR. You would think it isn't, but it's really good for what you get. You know, even if you showed a friend this and so short, you could have your friend play through the whole thing in an hour, and they'd be super impressed and like, wow, VR is sick as fuck. Um, it is really cool. It's basically you just kind of going through a little quick mystery for, um, you know, the hour and you, you do all the normal Batman shit. You fucking investigate, you solve, you know, detective crimes and stuff. You replay, you know, mysteries. And you, you, it's, it's just it's pretty cool overall. Uh, like I said, but it's just extremely short. But the graphics look great when you play it. It puts in the shoes of Batman, you know, for, that, for that hour. The end of the fight. Um, I mean, so overall, it's definitely worth it. I, if you can get it for like under 10 bucks, I'd say, you know, go for it. I think you'll be impressed by how kind of cool it is and the novelty of it all. Um, obviously, an hour game for 20 bucks probably isn't worth it. You know, unless you just love spending money willy-nilly. I'm starting to uh, but overall, it, it really gets that feel Studying of being Batman, the detective another clue to their sense identity. of it is awesome. The little variety of, I guess you can call them levels it puts you in, are, are you know unique and different, kind of puts you in different situations, and they are kind of like, it's kind of spooky, kind of can easily, you know, jump scare you. So it's pretty cool. Definitely more, worth a look. So if you've seen this and wondered, you know, you, were badly you know, it's worth no longer the hour of gameplay, it is, no you mercy. know, but again, that's the only if you Why did they can get it for under demos. Son? What did they see? So I hope that kind of sheds I mean, some light on it, maybe as you consider trying it, if you do end up getting it and playing it, you know, leave a comment, let me know if you thought it was cool. Thanks, guys.